What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Knife Life Media, and welcome back to Pod Boys Micro. What up? I'm joined as always by my co-host and best friend, Eric. What is up, bro? What's good, Eric? You know what is up? Emacs is up. Y'all don't even know about that one. This is some deep, deep, deep shit that y'all don't even know about. But do your research. Get on it. You heard it here first. But yeah, we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about this motherfucking Switch Pro, which just won't go away or show up. It's it just it just it's just like it's here, but it's not it's a like constant it's here, it's state of limbo <laughs> with this fucking Switch Pro. So last night, pretty late on in the day, Mister Takachi Machizuki, Mister Switch Pro himself, came out guns blazing on Twitter exclusive new nintendo switch which would replace the current 299 model is planned for release in september through october announcement could be imminent ahead of e3 so he wrote a full article um going over in in more detail so looks like uh it looks like uh it's possible that they might even uh release it at a higher price but when he says replace the 299 switch he doesn't mean slot it in and this is going to be the new 299 one. He's saying that it's possibly they could release for a little, a little more, even 349, 399. So uh, might not even be the same base price, depending on how good the, the 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 technology is in there, how good the how big the leap is from from the current model. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you think, man? What you, you think it's if it if it is real, you think they're going to change the price on people like that? Mm, I think. So the current model is two ninety nine. What did it drop at like originally? That's it. Two ninety nine. It was two ninety nine, right? Yeah, okay. never, never changed. Right. So I think it's gonna be at least three hundred bucks. So if it, it's, if it's like an upgrade, if you think if it's gonna at, at least stay the same price, you mean? Oh, it, sorry, it's not three hundred bucks. No, no, four hundred. Ah, either okay. four hundred or I think it'll go up either uh, like a hundred bucks, or they could be like fifty bucks, maybe. I don't see that just because like. I'd, that'd be nice. I mean, I'll take a 50 buck price cut, but I feel like just because of a marketing thing, they always try and they don't No, like big electronic ever releases at a at a halfway at a 49 or something. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like it just yeah, it just looks weird true. in it, like advertising and shit. I feel like I don't know. I mean, it could be like, oh, 449. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that for damn, that would be a lot, bro. Like, or I'm like three, three, sorry, bucks. sorry, three, three forty nine. Man, I got my numbers all messed up. Three forty nine. Yeah, Eric's been looking at his investment charts. I'm all, all day. I'm <laughs> all like, my head's all just like numbers, numbers, numbers here, there. It's three forty nine is what I'm thinking. Just a fifty dollar increase from what we have it at now is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. uh, so apart from that, um, uh, he does go on to state that it's going to do 4K uh, upscaled uh, through through the TV. It looks like there might be a new dock, all kind all kinds of stuff uh, like that. So it's going to actually remove the bezels. So everything that's been rumored that we've talked about a million times before seems to he seems to be sticking to that with the OLED screen with the with with the removed bezels to give you the full screen instead of having those big borders around it. Uh, 4K through the dock upscaled. Uh, and uh, most likely a, a beef up to performance uh, and uh, visual fidelity and everything. And uh, what is most interesting is that he claims that it could be released, revealed before E3 because developers are, are uh, looking to actually talk about games and show off games that they're making for this system at E3. Yeah. So, I mean, if they're going to talk about these beefed up games that are going to be coming out they can't talk about them if there's no beefed up system to put them on, right? So they have to come out and say something ahead of E3 if they want to, they want to, you know, get that exposure for those games during that time period, I feel, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So, um, Direct Feed Games, Nate the Hate on Twitter, uh, member of the Spawn cast, and uh, one of, uh, he, you know, one of what one of uh, our our community leakers that that we we have actual interaction with and kind of hold them more accountable. He was fully backing this in, in tweets, uh, even giving more accurate time frames and stuff like that. Uh, you know, he 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 went out and said that like uh, if an announcement was going to take place this week, it would have happened uh, today, uh, yesterday being Thursday, because I believe today, which is Friday when we're recording this. Um, 
Nintendo of America was actually closed. So um, didn't end up being announced uh, yesterday. So most likely looking uh, as early as uh, Monday or Tuesday next week or something like that. If it if it is right. coming, you know what I mean. So it's exciting, dude. I, if it is real, it looks like it's finally going to show up and rear its face. What do you so? What do you think, man? What do you think this thing's going to be called? The Switch Pro, Switch Plus, Super Nintendo Switch. I the new Nintendo Switch, like the new 3D. Yeah, I I don't know. Come when it comes to the name, I feel like Nintendo's been really like sporadic with what they name their things. Yeah, you know what I mean. Especially like with all their like handhelds, like you, like you just mentioned it, like the new Nintendo 3DS, and then it was like Nintendo. There was one before that, like uh, there was a Nintendo 3DS Lite. There was and... a DS Lite. The, the DS, the DS Lite, the DSi. The DSi, and then they had the new Nintendo 3DS, and then the 2DS, which it's all different things, but like... And the 2DS XL. But it's all kind of also the same thing, you know? Oh, yeah, and then they added XL. They just made it bigger and added XL at the end. Yep, so... So who, maybe, what if it's like... The Nintendo Switch XL. Switch XL? Yeah. yeah, so who we knows, don't know, man? Uh, I, you know, I like honestly, I, I'm leading more because I'm a Super Nintendo fan. I'm leading, I'm leading, hoping that they go for Super Nintendo Switch because that sounds cool as fuck. That but also, cool. I feel like they could save that for like the actual next Switch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Call this one something else in the meantime, and then when they do the big leap to, to their next gen or whatever, that one could be the Super Nintendo Switch. Mm, that makes sense yeah but uh so no announcement yesterday what did end up happening uh, was that amazon mexico listed it for a bit took it down real quick then replaced it with a, with a, like another dummy name or something like that so i don't know man looks like where there's smoke there's fire you know what i mean so it's exciting times man looks like we're finally getting this announcement for this revision hell yeah dude i i think it's I think it's about time Switch gets some kind of revision for I th- sure. I think so too, man. Especially with with games coming out that people are worried about. Like we just talked about Legends Arceus. People are concerned about the performance of that since it's coming so soon. Like, there you go. If we get a Switch Pro before the end of the year, I'm sure it'll come with a boosted mode on there to ease all your concerns. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's pretty much going to do it for us here on Pod Boys Micro, or as we love to call it here, the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> no. Eric we, loves it. Nobody calls it. <laughs> yeah, we the all call it the microwave. Microwave. Yeah. Bro. Ask the homie B Leaf in the comment section. He dug it. But <laughs> okay. A- anyway, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe <laughs> uh, button, leave a comment down below. Uh, uh, podcast oh will be up on Sunday as usual. And, uh, if you check this video out, I might be going live with a Destiny stream of us trying to raid soon, but I'm not please, sure if I will. Please don't encourage the name Belief, like, please. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, my name's Oscar. And I'm Eric. And this has been Pod Boys Micro. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Not the microwave. Microwave. <laughs>